calling to get a reservation. Hello, I'd like to reserve a hotel room. That should be no problem. May I have your full name, please? My name is John Sandals. Hello, Mr. Sandals. My name is Michelle. What days do you need that reservation, sir? I'm planning to visit New York from Friday, April 14th, until Monday, April 17th. A room race recently went up. Is that okay with you, Mr. Sandals? How much per night are we talking about? Each night will be three hundred eight dollars. That price is perfectly acceptable. Wonderful. Do you prefer a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Next question: Is a queen size bed okay? That sounds fine. Okay, Mr. Sandals, your reservation is in our computer. All we need now is a phone number. Certainly, my phone number is six two six five 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 one seven three nine. Thank you, Mr. Sandals. We look forward to seeing you in New York. Hello, I need to reserve a room. Not a problem. May I have your name, please? Of course, I'm John Sandals. Hi, sir. My name is Michelle. Could you tell me when you need the room? Right now, I plan to be there in April, from the 14th to the 17th. Perhaps you didn't know that we have new room rates. Do you find that acceptable, sir? Maybe. How much is a room? The price per night is three hundred and eight dollars. That sounds fine to me. Fantastic. Would you like a smoking or non-smoking room? I hate cigarettes. Non-smoking. That'll be non-smoking. Now, do you approve of a single queen-size bed? That'll be no problem. I'm happy to hear that, sir. Your reservation is all set, except for your phone number. Sure. My number is six two six five 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 one seven three nine. Six two six. Five 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 one seven three nine. Thank you for doing business with us, Mr. Sandals. Hi there. I want to reserve a hotel room. No problem at all. Can I have your full name, please? Sure, John Sandals. Hi, Mr. Sandals. I'm Michelle. At your service. When do you need the room? My plans are to be there April fourteenth to the seventeenth. We have new room rates, sir. Will that be acceptable to you? Well, it depends on the price, of course. What is it? It's three hundred eight dollars a night. I have no problem with that. Great. Would you prefer smoking or non-smoking? Definitely non-smoking. I can't handle that smell. Non-smoking. Now, is the queen size bed okay? No problem. Great, Mr. Sandals. Your reservation is confirmed. Now, all I need is your phone number. Of course. It's area code six two six five 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 one seven three nine. Thank you so much, Mr. Sandals. We look forward to seeing you. Requesting a wake-up call. Hello, I need a wake-up call tomorrow morning. Of course. When would you like the call? Actually, I need two calls. One at seven and the other at seven fifteen. No problem. We'll give you both calls. Do you know what? Let's change the second call to seven thirty. No problem. Anything else, sir? Not at the moment, thank you. Let me know if you do need anything. Hi. Can you give me a wake-up call tomorrow? Certainly. What time would you like us to call you? I need two wake-up calls, if you don't mind. One at seven, and the other at seven fifteen. Not a problem. We'll call you tomorrow morning at seven, and again at seven fifteen. On second thought, you'd better make that second call at seven thirty instead of seven fifteen. Said and done. Will there be anything else? No. That gets it for now. Thank you. Well, give us a call if there's anything more we can help you with. Hi, I need to request a wake-up call for tomorrow morning. What time do you want the call? I need two calls, one at seven and another at seven fifteen. We can certainly do that. Expect a call from us at seven o'clock, and then again at seven fifteen. Actually. 
Can I change the latter wake-up call to 7:30 a.m.? I can certainly do that. Is there anything else? I can't think of anything. If I do think of something, I'll be sure to call again. Okay. Good night, sir. Talking to room service. Could you bring me some food, please? Sure. What do you fancy? Can I have a bottle of champagne, lobster tail, and filet mignon, medium rare? Sir, the filet mignon was so popular tonight that we ran out. May I suggest the porterhouse? Oh, no filet. Okay, porterhouse will be fine then. Perhaps you would like chocolate-covered strawberries with the champagne. Not tonight. Thank you for the suggestion. Okay, this will be charged to your amenities account. Okay? No problem. Your food will be brought to you momentarily. I hope you enjoy it. I'd like to order dinner. What would you like? I'd like to order a bottle of champagne, lobster tail, and filet mignon, medium rare. I'm sorry, we're currently out of filet mignon. May I suggest the porterhouse instead? I'd prefer the filet, but the porterhouse will do. And may I suggest chocolate-covered strawberries with the champagne? Normally, I would take you up on that suggestion, but the champagne will do for tonight. Okay, no strawberries. Room service will be charged to your amenities account. Is that all right? That's fine. It will be up shortly. Enjoy your food, sir. Could I order dinner? Of course. What would you like? I want a bottle of champagne, lobster tail, and filet mignon, medium rare. I'm so sorry. We ran out of filet mignon. May I suggest the porterhouse instead? That's too bad. But the porterhouse will be okay. May I be so bold as to suggest chocolate-covered strawberries with the champagne? Not tonight, thank you. No strawberries. We'll charge your amenities account if that's okay. Charge it to whatever account you like. Your meal will be delivered as soon as it's all ready. Enjoy. Asking about the hotel gym. Excuse me. Does this hotel have a fitness facility? Yes. We try to accommodate all needs of our patrons, including fitness. Where is your fitness facility located? The gym is just below the lobby. Take the elevator or the stairs. You can't miss it. Is there an additional surcharge for the gym? No. The gym is free to guests. Take your room key, however, so you can get in. What time is the gym open, and what time does it close? The gym is open seven days a week, twenty-four hours a day. Do you offer trainer services along with the gym? Unfortunately, no. If you want a trainer, you'll have to use another gym. Hi. Does this hotel have an exercise facility? But of course, we have a great exercise facility. Good. Now, exactly where is it? It's located right under our lobby. Just take the elevator or the stairs one flight down. Is this going to cost me anything? No, sir. The gym is absolutely free. However, be sure to take your room key with you. When does the gym open and close? The hours couldn't be better. Twenty-four-seven. Very good. Now, is there a trainer down there? I wish I could tell you yes, but no, there isn't. Pardon me. Does your hotel have a fitness facility? Yes, sir. We try to anticipate all our guests' needs, including fitness. Great. Where is it? Sir, the gym is just below the lobby. You can take the elevator or the stairs. Do I have to pay extra? No, sir. It's gratis. Just take your room key so you can get in. 
What are the gym hours? You'll be happy to know that it's open twenty four seven. Great. Is a trainer available? I'm sorry, but no. We used to have a trainer, but then he had an unfortunate accident. Calling for a wireless connection. Hi, I need broadband for my computer. No problem. Just plug the Ethernet cable into your computer, and you're good to go. That's a problem. My laptop has no Ethernet port. It's wireless only. Hmm. Well, we have some alternatives if you're interested. Go ahead. I'm all ears. We have a computer lab on the first floor. That's great. How much is it? It's absolutely free for guests, except for printing, of course. Okay. What about the other alternatives? You could use your wireless right here in our lobby. Yes, that's the ticket. And if I need to print something there? Well, we don't have a printer in the lobby yet. You'll have to use the lab. Hello. I'd like to get busy on my computer, but I need some broadband. There's an Ethernet cable in your room. Just plug into the back of your laptop. Uh oh. I can't use Ethernet. My computer is wireless only. That's okay. I can tell you about some alternatives we have. Any alternatives that works will be great. Well, there's our computer lab on the first floor. That sounds good. What's the charge? The lab and the computers are no charge, but you have to pay for whatever you print. That sounds good. Now, how about the other alternatives? Of course, our lobby is set up for wireless, so just bring your computer down here. Use my laptop in the lobby. That's great. Now, if I need to print something there, they plan to install a printer here. But until then, you'll have to use the lab. I'd like to order broadband internet for my laptop. Just plug the Ethernet cable into your computer, and a prompt will tell you the payment options. Well, I don't have an Ethernet port. My computer runs entirely on wireless service. That's too bad. But there are several alternatives if you want to hear them. Yes, please tell me about the alternatives. We run a fully equipped computer lab on the first floor. Very good. How much does that cost? The service is free to hotel patrons. However, printing costs ten cents per page. I see. And the other alternatives? Alternatively, we do offer wireless in our lobby. You can bring your laptop down here. Great. What if I need to print something in the lobby? You would have to use the computer lab. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Asking the concierge for restaurant advice. So now I need your help again, if you don't mind. I'm taking a date to a restaurant. I'd love to help you. What is your budget for the dinner? She strikes me as being very sophisticated. Only the best will do for her. Well, what do you think about our very own hotel restaurant? It is very upscale with a three-star rating. I don't want to be cooped up in my own hotel tonight. How about another restaurant? The Gramercy Tavern is highly rated. It has great food and live jazz, but it's not cheap. Yes, that sounds like a winner. Would you please call them to reserve a table? I'm already dialing, sir. I need a suggestion for a restaurant here in Manhattan. Certainly. How much are you planning to spend on dinner, sir? My date's very sophisticated, so I'm sure she would expect nothing but the best. May I suggest our own hotel restaurant? It got three stars in the latest restaurant review. No, thank you. I want to go out on the town. What other ideas do you have? There is always Gramercy Tavern. They have live jazz. The food is delicious, but very expensive. That sounds like a good place to take a date. Can you make a reservation for me? As you wish, sir. You'll have a wonderful time there. Can you tell me about a nice restaurant to go to? Of course. How much would you like to spend on your meal? My date is quite sophisticated. She would expect nothing less than the best. Well, how about our own hotel restaurant? 
It's conveniently located and has a three-star rating. That's a good idea. Except I want to go out, not stay in. Something else, maybe. Well, how about Gramercy Tavern? It's a very popular tourist spot with great food and music. That sounds good. Could you call them and see if I can get a reservation? Of course, sir. You've made a good choice. Requesting more supplies for the minibar. I'd like to order a restock on my minibar. You finished everything in there, sir? Absolutely everything. What would you like to order? Three bottles each of Perrier and Jim Beam. Uh huh. What else do you want?、Mm, the apples were great. Could you bring a couple more up? No problem. Is there anything else I can get for you? Some grape juice would also be nice. I'll get all of that for you right away. Someone should be up shortly. Hi, my mini bar is empty. You already finished off everything, sir. I finished off everything. Would you like anything in particular? The Perrier and the Jim Beam. Let me have three more of each. Beam and Perrier. Anything else, sir? I really love the apples in my room. Bring me a few more, please. Sure thing. Might there be anything else? Uh, yes. Speaking of fruit, bring me some grape juice too. Perrier, Jim Beam, apples and grape juice. It will be there shortly, sir. I need my mini bar restocked. Everything is gone, sir. There's not a drop left of anything. Is there anything in particular you want? Yes, the Perrier and the Jim Beam hit the spot. Let me have three more of each. Got it. Anything else? I really like the apples. Bring me a couple of apples, please. Not a problem. Anything else? Oh、uh, yes, one more thing. Some grape juice. Someone will be up shortly with your order, sir. Calling to report a medical emergency. Help me! I need a doctor. What is the problem, sir? My wife is on the floor. Sir, please calm down. Take a deep breath. I need some help right now. Sir, I'm going to put you through to nine one one. Hurry, please. I'm transferring you right now, sir. I need a doctor right now. Tell me what the problem is, sir. My wife just passed out. Sir, it's difficult to understand you. Please take a deep breath and calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. My wife is passed out. I'm getting nine one one on another line, sir. Okay, but hurry. Stay calm, sir, and talk clearly. I need a doctor immediately. Sir, is everything all right? My wife just collapsed on the floor. Sir, I need you to calm down. Take deep breaths. I'm sorry. It's just that my wife. I need the emergency room. Sir, I'm dialing nine one one on another line. What's taking you so long? I'm transferring you right now. Just remain calm. Asking about the swimming pool. Do you have a swimming pool in this hotel? We don't have a swimming pool, sir, but we do have a swim station in the gym. I never heard of a swim station. Is that like a train or a bus station? It's just a deep bathtub with a current of water that you swim against. Holy cow! I've never heard of such a thing. How much do they cost? As a guest, sir, you pay nothing. This sounds better every second. Now, when can I use the stations? If you want to swim, you can visit the gym any day between seven and ten p.m. Oh boy, this is going to be great! I'm going to the gym right now. I'm sure you'll enjoy your workout, sir. Everyone seems to like the swim stations. Is there a swimming pool in this hotel? We don't have a full-size swimming pool, but we do have individual swimming stations. What exactly does that mean? Basically, a swim station is like a treadmill, except instead of running, you swim. That sounds really neat. Is there any extra charge for these swim stations? If you're a registered guest, you have free access to our swim stations. Are the swim stations open 24 hours, like the rest of the gym? To conserve electricity, the stations operate only from 7 a.m. till 10 p.m. I'll go down there as soon as I can. I don't think you'll be disappointed. People really seem to like the swim stations. 
Does this hotel have a pool? I'm sorry, sir. We don't have one. However, in our gym, we do have swim stations. I'm not sure I understand. Think of a deep bathtub that you could swim in, but against a current. Cool. What will they think of next? How much are they? Sir, guests pay nothing to use the stations. Excellent. Now, what are the hours? The gym is open 24-7, but the stations are open from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. only. I'm going to change into my trunks right now. I think you'll like the experience, sir. It's a great workout. Asking the concierge for sightseeing advice. Hello. The front desk told me to ask you for sightseeing advice. Of course. I'd be more than happy to help. I am, after all, the hotel's concierge. Concierge? What exactly is that? We advise you on where to visit, eat, or shop during your stay here in New York. Great. So where should I start my sightseeing? The Statue of Liberty is always a good place to begin. Well, I saw the Statue of Liberty on my last visit here. Can you recommend somewhere else? Hmm. What type of interest do you have? In my spare time, I really like to view art and go running. Aha! Have you been to Central Park or the Museum of Modern Art? No, but I've heard a lot about both. Well, Central Park is wonderful for running. Afterwards, you should head to the museum to enjoy the art. Great! That sounds like a plan. Thanks a lot. I'm sure you'll have a good time there. Hi. I need some sightseeing advice. That's what I'm here for, sir. Every good hotel has a concierge, like me. I don't travel a lot. What exactly is a concierge? A concierge helps visitors like you find great places to visit, shop, and eat. That's great. So tell me, where should I go first? I'd suggest that you start at the Statue of Liberty. You know, I've already been there. Can you suggest another place? Maybe. Tell me what you like to do in your spare time. When I have some free time, I often spend it running or at museums. Well, have you ever been to either Central Park or the Museum of Modern Art? No, but I sure would like to go. Central Park is great for just about everything outdoors. Then you can visit the Museum of Modern Art. Both places sound great. I'll try to do that today. Enjoy the views at both places. Hi. I was told to see you about going sightseeing. It's my pleasure. I'm the hotel's concierge at your service. Concierge? Could you explain that to me? We help direct hotel visitors to popular places to visit, eat, and shop. Very good. So, where shall I begin my sightseeing? I would suggest the Statue of Liberty. Gee, I've already seen the Statue of Liberty. What about another site? Let me see. What do you like to do in your spare time? Well, I really like to run, and I like art. Well, there you go. Have you ever visited either Central Park or the Museum of Modern Art? No, but I've been meaning to. Well, Central Park is fantastic for running. Then you can go to the museum to look at the beautiful art. That sounds like a great plan. I'll do that. Enjoy your run and your visit. Calling to report a cockroach problem. I want to change rooms. In fact, I want a refund for tonight. And the problem is, sir? Cockroaches have taken over my room. My apologies, sir. We'll give you a new room and refund the value of your current room. Thank you. I want to continue to be able to recommend this hotel to others. We always try to serve our guests in the most agreeable way possible. I'm quite upset. I want a new room and a refund for tonight. Forgive me, sir. 
I haven't been told what the problem is. I'm about to be swept away by millions of cockroaches. My apologies, sir. We'll transfer you to a new room at once and give you a full refund. Thank you. I didn't want to have to take this to court. Sir, we never want a guest to stay here mad or unhappy. I want to change rooms immediately, plus a refund for tonight. I'm sorry, sir. Exactly what is the problem? I'm knee deep in cockroaches. I'm so sorry, sir. We'll give you a new room immediately, and give you a refund also. Thank you. I'm glad that this hotel strives to keep its reputation intact. Sir, we always try to please our guests. Asking for more amenities. Hi, I need more amenities, please. Could you be a little more specific, sir? Well, to be more specific, the free stuff like soap, lotion, and shampoo. I understand. Now you're saying that you've already used up all your amenities? Oh no, I've got all I need for my stay here. So what's the problem? I need souvenirs. You want some souvenirs? Yes, yes, souvenirs. But sir, our souvenir shop carries all those items. That's not the same thing. If you buy hotel souvenirs, they have no sentimental value. I understand, sir. I'll call housekeeping. You'll have your souvenirs shortly. Hello. How do I get more amenities? I'm sorry, sir. I'm not sure I understand. I'm talking about the free stuff, like soap and shampoo. Oh, I see. So you're saying that you've already run out of your amenities? No, no. I've got plenty left. Now I'm confused again. What is the problem? What am I going to do about souvenirs? Oh, I get it. You want souvenirs? Yes, I've got enough soap for my use, but no extra soap for souvenirs. Sir, our souvenir shop carries all those items, and as a guest, you get a discount. Please, free souvenirs are the only true souvenirs. I understand completely, sir. Housekeeping will bring you souvenirs in just a moment. I'd like to request some more amenities. Amenities? What do you mean by amenities, sir? Well, the free stuff. You know, the soap, lotion, shampoo, etc. I see, sir. If I may ask, have you used up all the amenities in your room? Not at all. I still have enough for the next few days. Then what is the problem, sir? I need some to keep as souvenirs. Souvenirs? Yes, souvenirs. Trinkets to remember my trip by. We do have a souvenir shop on the first floor, sir. Oh, that's not the same. I never pay for hotel souvenirs. I'll call housekeeping. Someone will be up with more amenities shortly. Getting a taxi via the front desk. Can you get me a taxi? We offer various types of transportation. Perhaps you'd like to upgrade to a private vehicle.、Mm, thanks, but no thanks. A taxi will do just fine. In that case, how about a limo? Then you can travel in style.、Mm, no, I hate limousines. They're gas guzzlers. Got it, sir. Where would you like the taxi to take you? My destination is Rockefeller Center. What time do you want to leave the hotel? As soon as possible. I'll call a taxi immediately, sir. Okay, I'm coming downstairs now. A brand new taxi is pulling up now. I need to get a taxi. We have a variety of transportation services. Would you prefer a private vehicle or a taxi? No, that won't be necessary. I just need a taxi. Perhaps you'd prefer a limousine. That's such a stylish way to travel. Just a taxi, please. And what is your destination? I'm going to Rockefeller Center. I see. What time do you want to depart from the hotel? I want to leave as soon as possible. Okay. A taxi will arrive in seconds, sir. 
Thank you. I'm coming down now. It won't be but a few seconds, sir. I need a taxi, please. We have various transportation services. Would you prefer a private vehicle? No, thanks. A taxi is just fine. May I suggest a limo? It's a nice way to pamper yourself. Uh, I don't want anything except a taxi. Thank you. I understand. And where will you be going? Rockefeller Center. And what time would you like to be picked up? The sooner the better. A taxi will be here shortly, sir. Great. And remember, a taxi, not a limo. A taxi it is, sir. Disputing the bill. I just discovered that I owed $10 for a movie that I never ordered. Let me check, sir. You were charged for watching Titanic Monday night. That is absolutely incorrect. I was out on the town Monday night. Okay, sir. Bear with me a moment. Thank you for taking my word over the computer's word. One slight problem, sir. I need to charge you $2 to remove this error from your file. You can't be serious. You're making me pay $2 for a movie I never watched? I feel your pain, sir. Absolutely unbelievable. You people should be ashamed of yourselves. I agree with you, sir, but all I do is work here. You guys are charging me $10 for a movie that I never ordered or saw. Let's see, sir. According to your file, you watched Titanic Monday evening. Well, the wrong information is in my file. I was at a concert Monday night. Well, your word overrules the file, sir. One moment, please. I knew you'd see it my way. Sir, I deleted the $10, but I need to add a $2 service charge to your bill. Am I in the twilight zone? You're charging me for a movie I never saw? Please don't blame me, sir. Blame the computer programmer. This is highway robbery. I've got a good mind to call the police. If it makes you feel any better, other guests feel the same way. My amenities bill say that I owe $10 for a movie, but I never ordered one. Let's see. It says that you were charged Monday at 9 p.m. for the movie Titanic. That's absolutely wrong. I was out exploring the city Monday night. Okay, let me see what I can do for you. Thank you. I didn't think it would be this simple. I can take the $10 off your bill, but I need to charge you $2 for the service. Are you serious? I have to pay $2 for a movie I never watched? Unfortunately, sir, it's how the computer is programmed. This is outrageous. I'm never coming back to this hotel again. I'm sorry, sir. Perhaps you'd like to write a letter to the headquarters. Checking out. Hello. I'm leaving. Here is my key. Just one second, sir, and I'll give you your receipt. Here you go. Thank you very much. Sir, did you enjoy your stay here? Well, most of the time here was pleasant, and New York itself was fantastic. I'm glad you enjoyed the city anyway, but please don't think too unkindly of us. I am checking out. Here's the key to my room. Thank you. I'll just put on a receipt, and then you're free to go. Here you go. Thanks. If you don't mind me asking, how did you enjoy your stay at New York Hotel? This hotel could use some incesticide, but my time in New York was thoroughly delightful. That's very honest of you. Rest assured that this hotel will have no insects next time. Hi. I want to check out. Here's my room key. One second, sir, while I print out your receipt. Here you are. Thanks. May I ask, sir, if you enjoyed your stay? Well, except for one night I enjoyed the hotel. And I love New York, of course. Thank you for your honesty. I assure you there will be no cockroaches next time. Calling to cancel a reservation. I need to cancel my reservation. I have personal matters that need fixing. That's not a problem. Just give me your name, phone number, and date of visit. Rudy Randolph, 818-555-1234, April 9 through 15. I see your info here on the screen. I'll just hit one button, sir, and you're canceled. Thank you. I'm glad that wasn't too much of a bother. It's a pleasure. I made a reservation earlier this week, but I have to cancel it. No problem, sir. Just tell me your name, phone number, and date of reservation. Great. 
I'm Rudy Randolph, 818-555-1234, and my reservation was for April 9 to 15. Okay, sir. Let me hit the delete button and your reservation will be canceled. That was nice and fast. Thanks. Not at all. I'm calling to cancel a reservation I made earlier in the week. To cancel your reservation, I need your name, phone number, and date of trip, please. Rudy Randolph, 818-555-1234. My reservation begins on the second Monday of April. I see your reservation on my computer. Let me just cancel it and it'll be all set. Thanks. I'll call again when things get better at home. You're welcome.